All right, so you're gonna discuss an inexpensive way of acquiring some uh, vegetation, some plants uh, that don't involve having to go to Home Depot and spending a fortune. You're going to estate sales and actually getting your own plants. So tell us about that. All right, so the key to estate sale planting and gardening is most of the time they only sell the plants that are in pots. But every once in a while, if they're going to demo the house or if you're lucky enough and they don't care, if you bring your own shovel, and this is one my husband was nice enough to give me, he's so thoughtful. For Christmas, I got a military style shovel that I can take out and utilize now, if they don't have Wasn't a that a wonderful purchase I made and Great gave to you? Present. I mean, you're it's using like it, vacuum. you're putting your back into it when you dig, and it's just a wonderful gift. So, so that's key to... Yeah, bring your own shovel, because a lot of times you go to estate sales and they don't provide shovels, right? Right, sometimes you can find one there a lot of times, but it's always good to have one. You don't want to be stuck without. So cheap landscaping. So how, how it works is I am not an expert in these plants. I pick out something because it's either there, it's cheap. Um, because I'm not an expert, I don't mind if it if it ends up not doing well. I try to figure out whether it likes shade, sun, yeah. or partial. But just kind of talk a little bit about these are all things I've gotten for the most part at estate sales. Uh, sometimes you can find Craigslist ads too where they're just giving away uh, overgrowth of vegetation from milliads in particular and some of the tropical plants. Pomerias is what this is and you can break off pieces of these and then just replant them just like I did here. So these are real e easy for folks that don't garden as much. I bought this in the pot a year ago. I didn't know what type of plant it was and come Christmas it turned out to be a poinsettia. So sometimes you get surprises if you don't know your plant. Nice. So, so most of this stuff you got in at estate sales, and you went ahead and planted it, and that's what this is all from here. Correct. Most of the time, it is in pots, and we'll talk a little bit more about that. Um, I particularly kind of like cactus. This was an area when we bought our house that didn't have any um, real good sprinkler or irrigation at the time. So, cactus in Florida really tend to go do well. And um, I also find a lot of times rocks. Yeah. Random rocks, but they're pretty in color. I like them. Sometimes you have sparkly things. Yeah. So estate sales has all kinds of like garden material. Garden I mean, you've materials. you've brought home like bags of soil and fertilizer and soil all kinds sure. of uh, garden tools. Pretty much anything you can find on the cheap. Pottery. A lot of times, you know, garden knickknacks. My husband laughs and calls those my trolls. And no yeah. You've got a fake turtle there. You got all kinds of little uh, knickknacks. It's I just planted this this morning. These were cactus that I pulled at the last estate sale. Just kind of randomly threw them in because this will be a good area since it's not getting water as much. Same thing with this cactus here. And then we're going to go back into the back. Yeah, so all this stuff here, this is almost all estate sale pots and potted plants and stuff you've dug out and you've went ahead and... Statues, you know, my little whimsical things, I'm sure you would call it. Uh, but yeah, so a lot of times I'll get these hanging hanging metal racks are easy to find there. I like my little cheesy statues. Uh, the, as far as the plants go, all of these, you know, are, are um, plants that can go well, like with driftwood. Sometimes I'll find pieces of driftwood like this. Yeah. In this now what did you pay for this very ugly looking frog here? Maybe a whole five dollars. That's pouty frog, and he needs to be repainted oh and maybe make him have a smile instead of a pout. I don't know why he got pouted. All right. Um, rocks, like I said, sometimes these landscape rocks. Uh, we'll talk a little more about. I got a bunch of those not too long ago, and did the front of our. Um, There's our little Ella. She's following you around here. Our little uh, barred we rock. Baby, we have our baby chick. So all of this area that's down by the ditch here. Um, all that you'll see along here, everything was a state sale purchased. Now, did you slaughter those three cow heads there or no, what? No, those were on my land in Hudson. I happened to find the 
majority of them there, so all I right. must have been pasture. But these are all bromeliads. Now, not everybody's a fan of bromeliads, but, um, and the reason being is they collect water, and sometimes they are known to be a mosquito concern, but we have a ditch, and we have mosquito concern anyway, so I figured I could plant what I wanted. And these staghorns, I noticed you have a few of those. Yeah, staghorns are great. Sometimes I'll find a big ball of staghorn, and I'll break it up into smaller pieces. Also, another thing you can find a lot of sometimes is these hanging baskets, which yeah. are not cheap anymore at um, Lowe's, Home Depot. Everything's getting more expensive. So yeah. we decided to make this video to talk about that really we bought this land. There was nothing on it, and we have just ended up... Yeah, I mean, this was, this was very barren when we bought this a couple years ago, and all this vegetation really came from estate sales, yard sales, dirt cheap plants that you can get. Like, what about this pink one here? You just planted this one a week or so. Sure, yeah, what, what is that called, um, you know? So a lot of times I have to go to more um, neighborhoods that have been more well-established because obviously the gardens and the area and the landscaping is a little more lush. So sometimes I go to downtown, like South, South Tampa or St. Pete, I found this for ten dollars wow. in St. Petersburg. It was in a pot. I didn't have to dig it. I up. mean, that would be like a hundred bucks at Home Depot, you I know? know? It would be more than ten dollars, and a lot of times they'll bundle. So if I get a whole stack of stuff, instead of going item by item, they'll just say fifty bucks because they don't really want to have to mess with picking up sharp things that I tend to get into. And all these palms, palms and bird of paradise, bird of paradise palms, palms, yeah. And then let me show you this too because I bought these landscape rocks and. ones they're lightweight so they're not as heavy as a real rock but everything you see along this we just did our irrigation system so we had dug out all this area and i replanted every bit of this with the state sale right so a few months ago you know we were hand watering stuff and i said hey the heck with that let's just get some irrigation in there now i got everything automated i got the hose timers on i got spigots all over the property we got our big big time sprinklers there and uh so now it's very low maintenance. You just plant something and it automatically gets watered on the timer and that's it, right? Low maintenance and automation. Yeah, just come over here and I'll show you a couple more little small things uh, we can talk about that once you get our estate sale finds. All of the plants, I got this a couple weeks ago. Um, this really nice. Now sometimes I don't really like the plants in the big pots. They're just heavy and I don't really need a lot of pots. I put them in the ground, but... This was one I think I got for five or ten dollars. Beautiful uh, clay pots. And if we do end up finding plants that are in the pots, we usually uh, repurpose or re-keep the nicer ones uh, and use them in our garden. Um, another couple things was I just recently, if you look over there, there were some neat things at one of the estate sales I went to for hanging. Those are like hanging wires yeah. that you put some uh, cactus or something in there? Yeah, those are succulents. And I had gotten them, I found a, a place near nearby that the lady had grown a lot of succulents and she had, was having an estate sale uh, for her property so a lot of these are just succulents that do really well with high heat low water they're pretty low maintenance and um and here's one of my sprinklers that i have automated it's running right off of that spigot there and it kicked off at the prescribed time and that's the way to go and then you got what papayas these are we you bought a papaya and we just planted the seeds and um yeah, they did another really cheap way yeah. to do gardening is you know a lot of your fruits i always uh, a lot of times stop at our local fruit stands the local farmers markets so you have a little more robust and um hardy uh fruits so we break them open and we just i think this was out of well, maybe one papaya yeah one we papaya plant we just put them in the pots the seeds we yep. put them underneath the grow lamp and bada bing bada boom a few weeks later we got little baby papaya plants coming out we did the same thing with honeydews and cantaloupes we got them growing in the garden so yeah seeds seeds are easy to grow from sorry you don't have to be buying seeds either at the store buckets uh, for real cheap a lot of times you can find like I said clay pottery yeah uh, clay pots save the, save pots. the pots that come with it and reuse them for the garden or whatever sure well this looks great I mean this there was this was nothing here a couple years ago so all this is 
very inexpensive. Bas I find all these ponytail palms, um, these are nicer. These will get nice and big. They're just tinier right now, but these are ponytail palms. And those go for probably about, I think one about that size would probably go for about 20 or $30. So maybe even more nowadays. I usually spend like five or 10 bucks if I can find them cheap. Um, these were some, these were some pink pineapple plants. Let me show you one that's really get, doing well. Um, I don't know that you, these are edible, but they're really cute and ornamental. These pink, pink pineapples. We bought these plants in St. Pete and I was a little worried because sometimes when you buy them in areas that are coming from more coastal and more shaded environments and then you bring them out to a very sandy, hot, humid environment, um, we had some concerns about what would last, but when you're when you spend a, a very few amount of, of bucks on plants, you don't mind if it just doesn't work out. Um, we've had a few, and um, the rest we just have done really pretty well with. So if anybody can if anybody can kill it, it's probably me. So this will show you that anybody can just you know try to repurpose plants. Yeah. So there you go. If you're looking for doing some landscaping on the cheap, check out estate sales, yard sales, and uh, Craigslist. Yeah. All right. Good job. So I have to go pack my car again. Yeah. So you'll have another video. Yep.